PT Scientists, formerly known as Part-Time Scientists, is a group of scientists and engineers based in Germany. They became the first German team to officially enter the Google Lunar X Prize competition on June 24, 2009, which was finished without winner in March 2018. Their goal remains to land a mission on the Moon, and the launch is expected by Q1 2020. PT Scientists GmbH PT Scientists GmbH is the company representing the team. The company opened offices in berlin Mahlsdorf in 2015. It is selling payload on the Moon mission to individuals, organizations and companies. The cost for 1 kg of payload is between €700,000 and €800,000. Furthermore, the know-how of the team is available as a consulting service. The European Space Agency is currently studying six private companies, including PT Scientists, to work on potential ISRU payload delivery to the Moon surface by 2025, an additional source of income are merchandising products for the Moon mission. PT Scientists lists several partners and sponsors in their website. History The PT Scientists team formed in June 2009 as part-time scientists, when ten teams had already entered Google Lunar X Prize GLXP, which had started in 2007. Later the company PT Scientists GmbH Limited was founded. On August 22 23, 2009, the PT scientists presented their project at the Open Doors Day of the Federal Ministry for Education and Research. On December 28, 2009, the team presented their mission at the 26th Annual Chaos Communication Congress. In a two hour presentation, the team provided a detailed overview of all parts of the project. This was the first time the European made private lunar rover prototype had been presented to the public. Early 2015, the team won awards in the categories Mobility and Vision, and a total of $750,000 in the milestone prizes of GLXP. During the advertising festival in Cannes, on June 23, 2015, Audi was announced as a main sponsor and the rover developer. As a result of this cooperation, the two identical rovers were named Audi Luna Quattro during the 2016 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Topic: <laughs> Demo Mission to the Moon. In March 2017, the group announced that they planned to perform the world's first private moon landing with a mission they now simply call Mission to the Moon. A landing module called Autonomous Landing and Navigation Module Alina will launch in 2020 on a Falcon 9 to the surface of the Moon. Alina lander will deploy two lunar rovers, and none of the three spacecraft were designed to endure the long lunar night. The three spacecraft are technology demonstrators to showcase the lander's capabilities, including landing near the desired landing zone, roving, and real time communication. By late 2016, PT scientists had secured agreements to deliver payloads from the US, Canada and Sweden, and only one payload from NASA Ames has been disclosed. <laughs> Alina lander Alina is a lunar lander with a launch mass of 1,250 kg 2,760 pounds and a landing mass of about 320 kg 710 pounds. Its main engines are in a cluster of eight, each generating 200 newtons. It also features eight attitude control thrusters generating 10 newtons each. Alina is built to host three general types of payload, which are rovers, stationary and orbital deployment of CubeSats, but for its first mission it will deploy two rovers and no satellites. This mission aims to land 3 to 5 km to 3.1 miles away from the Apollo 17 landing site in the Taurus Litro Lunar Valley, to search and video from a distance the lunar roving vehicle left there by NASA astronauts Eugene Kernan and Harrison Schmidt in 1972 during the Apollo 17 mission. P. 
PT scientists have pledged to preserve this and all previous NASA and Soviet lunar landers and rovers as world heritage and through their support for For All Moonkind Inc. Topic: <laughs> ALQ rovers. The Audi Luna Quattro ALQ rovers are being developed by German automobile manufacturer Audi. The prototype rover is called Asimov Jr. R3, while the two flight rovers are named Audi Luna Quattro ALQ. The rovers feature four-wheel drive transmission where each wheel is able to pivot 360 degrees for special maneuvers, and their solar panel is able to tilt in the direction of the sun for best power generation. The rover's projected maximum speed is 3.6 km per hour and they will carry two stereo cameras to acquire 3D images, mounted to a moving head at the front of the vehicle. Alina Lander will communicate with the rovers using technology based on Infineon chips, Nokia, and Vodafone's 4G LTE. In turn, the lander will communicate with Earth Control using the European Space Operations Center network. Topic: <laughs> Payload. In addition of hardware for a live video broadcast, the lander and rovers will carry commercial or scientific instruments for a fee. The lander, Alina, has a capacity for 100 kg £220, including the two 30 kg rovers, and each rover has a capacity for 5 kg £11 payload. During its first mission, the lander will carry three customer payloads, including an experiment designed by NASA Ames, called Lunar Plant Growth Experiment LPX. This is an experiment that will investigate germination and initial plant growth when subject to the combined effects of lunar gravity and lunar surface surface radiation. The experiment will try to grow Arabidopsis a flowering plant, basil, sunflowers, and turnips in a sealed biosphere cylinder about 10 cm in diameter with life support systems. A miniature camera will photograph any growth. Research in such closed ecological systems inform astrobiology and the development of biological life support systems for long-duration missions in space stations or space habitats for space farming. ESA lander study In January 2019, ESA contractor Ariane Group announced that it has received a one-year contract from ESA to study a lunar lander concept to mine lunar regolith to extract natural resources. PT scientists were awarded a subcontract and are responsible for the payload delivery portion of the study. The mission would be launched on an Ariane 64 in 2025. 